Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 404, Covered Mushrooms in Best Fiends, where we have the goals of defeating five slugs and collecting 60 lights. That's going to be tough. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six on the board. So we have to try to collect as many at one time as we possibly can. That's the way to do it, because we only have 24 moves. But now, unfortunately, these are all going to change into different colors. I like this fiend, so I'm going to go, oh, look what happens. We've got a black bomb. We have to use a different bomb in order to activate that. So let's take a look. At first, it looks like green is going to be the best move because I can collect two lights there. But if I go over this way, I can collect three lights with the yellow. So I'm going to choose that. And then three lights again with the red. I think I have to go with the lights and not worry so much about the slugs and hope that I'll be able to make plenty of points in the future. All right, let's do this. And we're also trying to hit these mushrooms. We've got up to three layers of mushrooms here. Not healthy for us. So, oh, there, that's good. We've got purple now. So we're hitting mushrooms and we're hitting purple reaching through and then of course we need a bomb to ignite that so that's what i'll be looking for is how to create a bomb that can help i'm going to wend around this way so oops hold on grab that light bulb so i can come through here and get this thing at the base that's two strawberries so that helps to fill that bomb meter i really need bombs now everything is segmented there's green and yellow and green and yellow and green and yellow that's not so good. If I take out this yellow, I take out some mushrooms, and I think I put some green together. Well, actually, that was beautiful because then the light bulb turned green. So, taking out mushrooms, and eventually we've got to get one of these bombs. I think red is probably my best choice now. That looks pretty good, and we're hitting that mushroom, so we're bringing more colors onto the board. Now yellow, definitely yellow. Here, let's grab this first and then wind around this way. That looks good. We're not hitting any mushrooms, but we got four light bulbs and a nice strike against that slug. So I'll take that. And now I think I'm going to make this tiny little move over here with the green. That's an option, and it gets two light bulbs. Another thing would be to do this which gets rid of a mushroom. I would choose this if it also got me a purple bomb, and that's what I was checking. But it doesn't, so I'll go for the two light bulbs. And now I can put more purple together. Still not enough to get a bomb to set this off, but closer. Okay, now what? Well, I can get two yellow, one purple, one green. So I'm going to go with the two yellow, and I think I get a yellow bomb, don't I? All right, so finally we have a bomb. I can't use that one very easily right now, but we have a bomb. So let's take out these two green. It's going to reposition this. Still can't use this. Look at how divided the purple is. I'm going to go ahead and grab this this way. It might set up the red together. Yeah, look at that. That's brilliant right there. So let's grab all this. That gets me a red bomb. So unfortunately, I can't use that bomb because I only have a line of two. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, that's okay. I'm going to grab all of these guys from purple. That's beautiful right there. and That's helping immensely. We're hitting that slug. You know, it's not essential that I hit this black bomb. It's just so prolific what can happen with this. Now, I would need to hit a red here or here to get this, and I can't use that red there. There, I've got a purple. Ah, it's annoying. I'm going to do this. I'm going to collect the yellow, and I'm going to hit that light bulb, and I'm going to try to bring some of these other bombs down closer. There we go. Now we've got that bomb. Look at that. 46,000 points. It's going to hit all of the lights, and it's going to take away that slug. 
So now, not only did it hit all of the lights, but all of the lights have been collected. It hit everything that was on the board, and now that's all we need to have happen. But now I've got to get points, and that's harder to do. And the number of moves I have left if I can't reach those bombs. Can I get another bomb? No. But taking this out, I think, is the best way to try to reach a bomb here. Two moves left. Bomb. Bomb. That's 12,000 points. Oops. So that's only 12,000 of the 34,000 points I need. And it doesn't fill my bomb meter any further. So, ah! I did not mean to do that. Well, I think we're going to be playing this round again. <laughs> I haven't made that rookie mistake in ever so long. Until now. Well, the chances of me actually having beaten this in the number of moves available was slim anyway. So here's another one where I'm going to beat it with my extra moves. Hopefully. Hopefully I can beat it with my extra moves. And then I'm going to come back and play it again. Um, that's half of what I need. But it doesn't get me a bomb. It's close. Let's see. That gets me a bomb. So I'm going to take that and hope that the red gets placed where I can use that bomb. Nope. Can't use that bomb. But... I also don't need a whole lot of points. There we go. All right, so I'm going to pause the recording. I'll meet you back here with a new board, and I'm going to beat this without extra moves. I really, really will, I promise. I mean, it might take me 17 tries, but I will do it. Be right back. Okay, here we go again. I'm going to grab as much red as I can. Unfortunately, I have to miss this guy in order to get that light bulb. I do now, though, know that points are crucial to me. So I'm not going to go strictly on lights. I need to make sure I'm getting those slugs as well. But the more I collect, the more points I get. And this black bomb is crucial because if I need points, that's the way to get it. Ah, oh, stink. I don't think I can get all three of those green light bulbs by doing this. You know what? I'm going to take a beat and I'm going to open this up more. Not collecting any light bulbs but just opening the board a bit. I still can only get two green. <sighs> I'm going to do this. There we go. We converted it. So now I get four green. And I open up more mushrooms. All right. Again, everything is segmented. Not going well. What if I just take out green? Nope, I can't get a bomb. That's what I was checking. I think I'll do this. Not hitting that slug very hard. Huh. That gets me one. Yeah, it's a longer chain than any of these guys over here. This gets me now two. Oops, grab that way. That's not awful. I think I have to get rid of this green. Nothing is matching with green. Oh, wait, maybe these uh, light bulbs will turn green. Nope, yellow. And that yellow isn't reaching to both sides. I think I have to get rid of the green. I think, no. I still, eventually these will turn green, right? No, they will not. They will never turn green. I've got all this green and I, I can't use it together on these light bulbs. There we go. Okay, and that's hitting that slug. Yeah. The intervening colors are really problematic, but that gets me a bomb. So, let's collect all this yellow. And now we've got some things that can match up a little bit. Here we go. That hits everything. And it wipes the board clean. Because I think I need that. Although that poor yellow bomb is wasted. What if I extend this a bit? What if I do... What if I take this, which is a nice long chain, 
reposition the yellow. Yeah. I use that bomb, which gets me good points. And then I do this, which gets me all the light bulbs and everything and helps me fill bomb meters. That's a better approach. That's better at getting those slugs. Now I've got to get at least two lights per turn in order to get this to work. I mean, that's on average, of course. So I'm going to take out the green and hope that that puts more red together. It did. So I'm going to grab these guys. Oh, well, I can't reach that other red. Somehow my brain connected those before. That's still two. That's not bad. Now I've got a bomb that can help both with collecting lights and with making an explosion to be assisting us here. What if I take out these two? If I can average two per turn, I think I should do that. And then when I can't, maybe that's when I want to use the bomb to help. That's not bad. It hits three light bulbs and it gives me 17,000 points. And it repositions this bomb, which I'm going to need for points, right? Okay, look at all this fun stuff. Oh, I can't travel that around very well. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. That's 18,000 points. It only got me one light, but now look at this. All right, that looks good. So now slug is gone. Don't have to worry about slug. Now I've got two turns to get three lights. And if I do this... I can get two lights, right? Because I used the bomb to help me. So I just need one more light, and that's it. All right. It was a little bit tricky, but we got there in the end. And I've got a lot of things waiting for me. A lot of fun keys I've collected. Awesomeness and wonderfulness, all set and ready to go. Here's my keys. 22 of them, so I'm just going to start everything and watch it run. Yay. Ah, oh, diamond jackpot. I am so spoiled that I get upset when I see only 100 diamonds instead of 200, because sometimes I get a 200 jackpot. And I think as we go further, we get more opportunities. Ah, I got two jackpots, so that's not bad. All right, and plus I got an energy jackpot that we can't really see because I'm on some VIP time. So that is it for me. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I'm excited.